Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Finally, Minimax M2.1 model officially got released and many of you requested me in my previous video that how to integrate it with the clot code and here you see that this is the detailed explanation step by step process that I will show you in this video and I am currently using this Minimax M2.1. This is the last model the custom model that I have added inside clot code. Okay, so stay with me till the end. You will understand the step by step process very clearly. And already I have told you that this model is uh, beating the other closed source models like Gemini 3 Pro and clot 4.5 Sonnet. And this model is really great at coding. And also this is a great agent model and it is scoring 72.5 percent on the SWE multilingual benchmark and also they have published their own benchmark which is the minimax vibe and on this benchmark they have tested their own model and they found that this is actually a great model which is beating the other closed source model and why this is uh, this new benchmark from the minimax is great because here you see that they have just added many medium to hard prompt and based on that medium to hard prompt they have tested their own model because uh, if you uh, observe that whenever a new model comes to the market in that case they follow the software being uh, SWE benchmark and there is a terminal benchmark but in that benchmarks there are some setup specific questions that are defined previously but that uh, they are you will not find that kind of uh, mixed mixed type of question that is a real life problems so here you see that if you uh, see these prompts uh, if i hover on this this is the hard prompts okay so if i open this here you see this is the detail prompt i want to build a small browser based 3d data visualization app this is the long prompt and this is a real world uh, website prompt okay so this is a production ready website prompt that they have tested their own minimax m2.1 and they found that their model is actually performing better so they are actually requesting the other uh, companies also those who are publishing the their cone coding model they should test it uh, their model on this vibe benchmark and only that um, the output the real benchmark the real accuracy difference we will get okay okay so now let me show you that how to set up this uh, uh, minimax m2.1 with the clot code so first of all i have given one configuration in the description so please go there and uh, just copy this description uh, copy this configuration from the description okay so from uh, second bracket to last second bracket inside this you will find this env and here you see that I have written Anthropic model Minimax M2.1. Uh, this is the default model. This is the default uh, Sonnet, default Opus model, and default Haiku model. Okay, because inside uh, Cloud Code you will find this default and def uh, this is a Opus. This is a Haiku. So you have to define for all of these uh, default Opus Haiku this Minimax. Okay, and after that. Uh, you have to give your api key so how you will get your api key so for that for that i have given one link in the description box okay so you will find this page okay this is the actually uh, platform.minimax.io where you can create your api key so after login you will find this uh, page and here click on this create new secret key and give any name here click on this create okay and then you will get your api key so paste that api key here okay simply paste your api key here so you have to just paste your api key you have to ch just change this portion only otherwise back uh, rest of the things like uh, base url and model name all are defined in the description okay so just change the api key and after that you have to paste this whole things whole json inside a settings.json file of cloud code how you will find that so if you are on windows or uh, if you are on linux or mac just find your user profile okay so as i am inside the uh, windows the process is like this go to your c drive and inside that you will find your users inside that you will find your name so go to inside your name and there you will find this dot clot folder so go to inside this dot clot and here if you don't find the settings.json file so just make 
another new settings.json file okay so in my case there was no settings.json file so i have created this json file manually so just open this uh, folder inside the vs code and there create this settings.json file and after that uh, inside that settings.json file just paste these things and just save it and now after that uh, just uh, open your project okay this is my project html css and js and inside this uh, project let me open it again okay for you so i am just uh, just uh, exiting from this terminal and i am opening it again cmd okay and just make it large and just write clot okay so if i just write clot press enter and here you see that clot code is now opening and just uh, hit slash and this, then just press model and enter and here you see that select model currently it is pointing to this minimax m2.1 custom model okay so in this way uh, here you see that set model to minimax m2.1 so in this way you can use the minimax m2.1 inside the cloud code and i have already told you that they are providing the great coding experience and also uh, their pricing is very less than the cloud code so in for cloud uh, sorry for the cloud uh, sonnet and cloud uh, haiku model the pricing is very high and part here the pricing is uh, this is the pay as you go model uh, if you go pay as you go then this is the pricing but if you go uh, through their coding plan they have different type of subscription on the left hand side here you see they have pay as you go and also coding plan so i will highly recommend you to use the coding plan because uh, with this 10 dollar per month and 20 dollar per month you will get this uh, 100 prompts per 5 hours 300 prompts per 5 hours so for this 20 dollar per month and this 300 prompts per 5 hours means for each and every 5 hours your 300 prompts will be renewed okay so i will highly recommend you to go with this coding plan 20 dollar per month then you will be able to use it inside cloud code otherwise if you are uh, interested to go for this pay as you go then also you can do that okay it is your choice so this is the thing all of this link i have given in the description this pricing page and also this api key link and also uh, this json all of this i have given description if you have any confusion if you uh, are feeling that you need any information from me just let me know in the comment section i'll give you that uh, correct information okay so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care